to the latest episode. Cut to the chase. And today, I actually want to ask you, and this is going to be a little bit of left field, because I haven't, sometime we planned, and we've got a little bit of a, of a chat talking about what we're going to talk about, and sometime we just winger. And today, I'm going to put you I on the spot. I cannot wait to hear what you've got to ask me. I can already feel myself puckering up on the uh, seat. Diego. What is the reason why, Davis, you do cut to the chase, which is not a biggest commitment commitment in the world, but it's still nevertheless on a busy life of an auctioneer agent, you know, this half an hour, every couple of weeks, sitting down, editing. Why? Because it forces me when you, we all have lots of advice, right? Do as I say, not as I do. We all have lots of information, good information that we can share. When I talk about it, it, it makes me more accountable to myself to go, right, start doing, Aaron, what you're putting out there. Like recently, we've done a podcast about getting back in contact with people really, really fast. So publicly, when you say it, you go, man, I better lift up to the standard I've just set. So it's an accountability for me, love sharing, and also it keeps my ears open because you're always texting me, which I love, right, going, Davis, Davis, Davis. So you're always looking for ideas. So, again, better never stops. And, and funny enough. So I'm, selfishly, I'm doing it for myself, funny well, enough. Well, I'm doing it for myself too. And, and <laughs> I think the motive has changed. Like, well, I think when we started uh, a couple of years ago, yeah, I just started podcasting. <laughs> I'll be famous that way. If I can't give a famous a real estate, I jokes apart. But now, I, I've, you, know, you know me personally, and then my, my life has changed. My goals have changed somewhat, although I love what I do. This is, this is a blessing, right? Yep. But for me, it's like, okay, if I talk about what I'm improving in my business currently, it means that I'm, and a lot of t- t- time people always, uh, quite often I've got asked, why do you give away all your secrets on the podcast? The reason why is if I give it away on the podcast, by the way, only one out of 10 people will do it. The other nine <laughs> are going to listen to it and forget about it. Yeah. But if I talk about it, it just means that I need to find out something else that I'm going to be unique and better off. So for me, it's about how do I become better? Well, by talking about what I'm fixing myself, because I'm still fixing, improving, getting the team to be in a better place and, you know, better system, better processes. You name it, we're trying to be better. But if I talk about it, at the same time, I need to come up with something else. Yeah, it forces you to go, right, I've got to be, I'm not going to follow. I was, I was really interested the other day, we shared <laughs> that idea from conference, right, about how, you know, help choose your new neighbor. Mm. And you picked up, your ears pricked up, you got on your phone, boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah. It's in the system, right? It's in the system. Yeah, yeah. It keeps on growing. So people are following you. You're not chasing other people, right? So Better you- to be the hunter than the hunter. Oh, absolutely. Um, so you're not doing it for the money, are you? No. No, because we're doing it for free. <laughs> hey, by the way, this is a free service we provide. Cannot ask you, please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. That's all we're asking. Yeah. Small request. Thank you so much. Cut to the chase. Ciao.